Hello guys, so in this video I'll be talking about how I would actually learn coding if I had to start over. But before we get into that, I just want to mention that I have a Discord server, so I'll share the link in the description and you can join the server and you can actually join the community and share your ideas and share your progress as you're learning coding and just help each other over there. So also if you're new to this channel, my name is Katlao, I'm a self-taught software developer and on this channel I share some tips and my experience of how I became a self-taught software developer in order to help you guys get motivated get inspired and also make it easy for you guys to get into the field so if that sounds interesting to you guys make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys all right let's continue so the first thing that i would do when i actually learn coding if i had to start over is i would actually spend a month learning html and css right so i'll spend that whole month learning css and HTML so then I'll actually choose two tutorials of people that I actually understand who are actually good in explaining these concepts so if you enjoy HTML and CSS which means you actually like the front end you can actually take this further and learn a CSS framework like Tailwind which will make it easy for you to actually write the code and you actually write less CSS sometimes because you just write the classes and everything and everything will be done for you right actually a lot of companies are starting to use Tailwind I've seen this as I've actually been interviewing with a lot of companies they're actually looking for someone who's good with Tailwind so you can learn Tailwind in the process of learning HTML and CSS an alternative to this will be SaaS or you can learn Metera UI then after the first month I will actually spend about a week or two just building projects right so in those two weeks I just focus mainly on building projects I don't focus on anything else I don't watch tutorials of HTML and CSS I just focus on building the projects because I've already learned HTML and CSS in that first month so this time i just focus on actually building projects right then the next thing that i'll do just for experience is i would actually start applying to jobs so i'll apply to jobs that are related to the front end or that just require html and css because there are jobs that actually require you to actually know html and css only because you'll be just creating email templates right so i would just apply to those jobs or just apply to front end jobs basically and this is not to actually get a job per se but it's just to actually get some experience in interviewing and how to create your cv and everything so this will be just getting in the loop of actually applying to jobs then after creating those projects for two weeks i would actually decide if i enjoy doing the front end or I'll just want to get into the back end, right? So if you want to get into the front end, I'll choose a programming language related to the front end, which is most probably going to be JavaScript. So I'll choose JavaScript and focus on JavaScript, right? But if you want to get into the back end stuff, I'll choose Python because it's easier to learn and you're learning much faster than you're actually learning JavaScript or any other programming language, right? But also you can choose JavaScript if you want to do the back end because you can do both the front end and the back end with JavaScript. But if you're going to apply to jobs and you're looking at a bigger picture, I will choose Python because a lot of companies that are actually hiring backend developers would want someone who knows Python. So yeah, after choosing that programming language, I would actually spend about two months just basically learning that specific programming language. Then after learning JavaScript or Python or whatever programming language that you've chosen, I will spend about a week or three days just mainly focusing on applying to jobs on LinkedIn or Indeed.com. So I'll apply to front end jobs if I've chosen JavaScript or I want to do the front end. If you want to do the back end, I'll apply to the back end jobs because that will actually help you in the job description to read through the job description and actually see what the kind of roles you'll be doing as a back end developer or as a front end developer. And also you'll see the requirements of what they actually need for you to become a back end developer or a front end developer. Then the next thing that I'll do, I'll spend about two weeks or four weeks just learning algorithms, right? So I'll just jump into lead code and just spend some time learning algorithms, right? I'll just solve some programming challenges so that I can get in the habit of actually knowing how to solve algorithms. 
right? Because myself, I did this at a later stage and I found out that you need to learn the algorithms and data structures and everything, right? So I did this at a later stage when I could have done this earlier, right? Then the next thing that I would do is I will spend about a month or two months just learning a framework related to whatever field I want to get into. So if I want to do the backend, I'll choose Node.js or Django. Node.js is if you've chosen JavaScript, then Django is for Python, right? So in the front end, if you've chosen JavaScript, you'll use something like React or Angular, right? Then after doing that, I'll spend about a week or two weeks just applying to jobs again. I'm actually including applying to jobs every time I learn something new because I want to get in the habit of applying to jobs and you actually get into the habit of interviewing or actually applying to jobs and updating your CV. So I'm just incorporating this in the process of learning these technologies because that will help me when I actually have the right tools that I need to actually get a job because I'll have that confidence and I'll actually know what they need to get a job and I'll actually make my CV look good when I'm applying to jobs. Then I'll spend three weeks more or four weeks just learning data structures and algorithms, right? At this point, we'd have already done the algorithms. We've already been trying to solve the programming challenges that are on code or other platforms related to solving programming challenges or algorithms, right? So now we're just focusing on data structures more than also in that process we're also solving programming challenges, so we're also solving algorithms, right? Then after that, you just focus on applying to jobs again. So basically, I'll spend about three days to a week just applying to jobs. Then after that, I'll spend about a week or two weeks just learning AWS or Microsoft Azure, right? And also, I'll be building projects using the services that are on AWS or Microsoft Azure so I can actually retain this information that I've learned related to AWS or Microsoft Azure. Also, I'll be using the frameworks that I've learned so you'll actually be in the habit of creating projects, right? So now you just create the projects using the services that you're learning within AWS or Microsoft Azure. Then as you might have guessed, the next thing to do is apply to jobs and you include everything that you've learned so far on your CV. So you just update your CV every time you learn something new and you make it look good and basically you include everything that you've learned, the skills that you have at this point, right? And that will actually help you to actually get more interviews because at this point you have a lot of tools that are needed by companies, right? Then the next thing to do is to spend about two weeks or a whole month just learning software design parents, right? So you can do your research and just watch tutorials related to software design parents. Then after that, you just apply to jobs again. So you spend those three days to a week applying to jobs. So yeah, at this point, I would have learned a lot of things. And this is what I think is needed for you to actually land a job as a software developer because you have the skills that are needed for you to become a software developer and you learn more tools as you start working at that company because a lot of companies companies are using different tools. Some of the tools you might not have learned yet, but they would allow you to actually learn those tools as you start working at that company. So yeah, here is a bonus tip. Basically, just start your own business. So start your own business related to tech. So maybe like start something related to e-commerce or something just basically solving a problem that you see around you and just use the skills that you've learned so far and start building that project related to tech, right? So as you're building the project, obviously you'll learn some more things because there'll be more things that are needed in your project that you don't have knowledge of or don't have skills to actually solve that problem in your project. So you actually need to learn some more skills, right? You need to learn some of the things that I haven't mentioned here that will actually help you to have more skills in your budget and that will actually help you at a later stage when you start applying to jobs if you want to get a job. Then after starting that company and you think you have the skills that are needed, you can basically start applying to jobs and you actually put the skills that you've learned throughout the process of building your project or your whole business right all the skills that you've learned throughout the process you put on your cv when you actually started a business a lot of companies are going to like you because you have the skills to initiate basically an initiative and basically you have leadership skills so that's it guys so this is what i'll actually do if i had to start over to learn coding basically so i hope this 
things that I've mentioned in this video will help you guys to actually know what to do or what to actually learn as you start your process of learning coding. So thank you guys for watching this video guys. If you haven't done this yet, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.